Our Freshfields pro bono practice is a critical part of our firm's culture and also of our commitment to responsible business. Within that there are a range of themes that we focus on and access to justice is a really important one of those. We have a range of programmes that we're engaged in uh, which are aimed at helping people have effective access to their legal rights uh, and this flagship project, the Human Trafficking Project, is a really good example of how we can use our skills to help people within one of our core target groups. Really importantly we draw no distinction between our chargeable work and our pro bono work either in terms of the value uh, which that is regarded internally, uh, the value of that contribution, and also uh, delivering it to the same high exacting standards. It's also a fantastic opportunity for people at all levels in the firm, from trainees right through to partners, to develop skills that complement those that they can gain from their chargeable work. So in this project, the gap we identified was in bringing civil claims for victims of domestic servitude in the employment tribunal, and then also enforcing those claims through the county courts and in the high court. So one of the key features of this project is how we work very closely with legal aid lawyers and with frontline charities. So we do that to take referrals of the cases, but also we pass matters between us and legal aid lawyers as they come in and out of scope for legal aid. So this provides a seamless end-to-end -end service for the client. We also work with KPMG's forensic practice who kindly, on a pro bono basis, um, do asset tracing to find assets that we can then enforce against. In addition to acting directly for individuals, we also use the expertise and the connections that we've gained through that casework um, to do um, systemic cases and act for charities in third party interventions. Working on the Human Trafficking Project was an amazing experience for me, both from a professional and personal perspective. It was fantastic to see firsthand how the work you can do can really have a significant impact on an individual's life. And then also from a professional perspective, as a kind of junior associate or a trainee working on these matters, due to the size of the matters, they're slightly smaller than, often smaller than you would have in these large um, matters that go on for months and months for large corporate clients. As a result, you get slightly more autonomy as a, as a trainee or a junior associate, so you can really run with the matter. It meant a lot to win the Excellence Award in Pro Bono. Um, I think for us it's just a really useful way of communicating both externally and internally about the impact of our work. Winning the Law Society Award for Pro Bono was, was great recognition for the work that the team had put in on this project and other projects. Really from a personal perspective it was the, the recognition from the client we got that, that really sort of meant the most.